Hey folks, picked up a fridge for the studio, which is great. Uh, we like to have coffee going all the time, but uh, we've been bringing it in and I'll show you. That's for the cream and pop, some juice, uh, but it doesn't really keep it cold for very long. We're here for long days getting things cleaned up and set up, so it's going to help to have a nice little, just a little cute fridge. <laughs> great little deal. Uh, ended up paying $88 for those of you who have contributed just so you know you know where your your money is uh, having an impact uh, personally I contributed about $30 $35 to the fridge uh, it was $88 plus the 13% tax that we pay here in Ontario uh, so the remainder of the cost of the fridge came out of your donations your contributions uh, so I thank you for that it's gonna you know it'll be here forever as long as it lasts and uh, give us an Nice cold cream, so I don't have to keep bringing it back and forth. And which doesn't sound so bad. But there's, there have been times when I had to serve black coffee because I forgot to bring cream. Or because I didn't stop at the house first. Get a seven. Paulo's going to be here in a little bit. Haven't met Paulo yet. He's a viewer who lives about uh, just a little over an hour away. And uh, he's going to be popping into help get these lights done. Uh, he's, I guess, got the electrical knowledge and uh, so he's going to kind of take care of all that. I'll just be uh, Joe, Joe Laborer, I guess, today. So, uh, and I'll just do everything that I can to help out. Not sure if anyone else is going to be popping by. We did post it to Facebook and Twitter, uh, but didn't get much of a response. So it looks like it might just be the two of us, uh, but we'll see. There we go. Just a cute little thing. Look at that. Paulo, everybody. Hi. Just uh, just showed up and found a bunch of garbage in the roof. And so Paulo was telling me that spotted the show about two years ago, looking at a microphone and yeah. saw the review. So kind of neat to be here and see this space. What do you think of this space? I, I think it's a great space. It's uh, a lot of potential. You've seen the videos. So yep. For those who are watching just the videos, is there anything that I haven't? shown that or anything that you see about the space that no it's been pretty yeah, pretty right? it's, it's a lot bigger than, yeah, yeah. than you think probably in video oh for sure i think that it's, it's a pretty good big space so Ta -da, studio d everybody so, <laughs> so what are we doing we got these lights that we've got to yeah, i think we should find out what's up here first yeah. find out if we find out why this is see oh yeah i think there was sure. a wall here yeah, let's find I out. Think. Let's make sure this is properly secured because those little tiny wires won't cut it. That little tiny wire. Oh yeah, yeah, that won't cut. There's it. like a like twist tie kind of yeah, wire yeah, yeah, holding this the ceiling up. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. And then you've got all the wiring that's draped on top of it, so you've got weight. Yeah. Plus, we're finding garbage up on top. Of it. Who puts garbage in the <laughs> ceiling? Like you had to take the tile off. <laughs> throw your trash up there and then yeah. put the tile back. What kind of stuff are you finding? Pop cans, chip bags. What? Oh, plastic bags. Okay. <laughs> There's a garden. Anyway, okay. We'll get, to uh, we'll get it cleaned up. Landlord's going to be here in probably about a half hour and he's going to shut down the electrical so we can start pulling down lights and things like that. So. Okay, so since uh, drywall comes in 4 by 8 sheets, and uh, what we should do is cut this at 4 feet plus an inch, and okay. then uh, instead of trying to cut all the drywall here and making a big mess, all we do is just slap it on, drill it in. Nice. And then it's don't even have to cut time. the drywall. Yeah. Save that. So then we don't have to try to figure out how to drywall into Robbie's nice. <laughs> yeah, so we don't have different sizes of drywall. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so we're just, just going to cut it four feet. feet. Roughly here, and we make a nice straight line all the way over there. And Great. we just put like one, two, three, four, five sheets of drywall. Really? All done. Then we can paint. Then, wow, you still have to stuck on. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. I, I'm learning. Oh, the you the mean there's more off. work to do? Okay. This, this yeah. Slight. Yeah, all right. More. Then okay. we put the tape on, the mud, put about two or three coats. Hopefully, we can. Maybe scrape some of the paint off. Yeah. Here. And then yeah. that's it. And you're ready to paint. Awesome. Easy peasy.
That, that's what they keep saying. They keep saying easy peasy. It's not easy, folks. Okay, just me make a mental note of this moment because I'm going to tell you how easy it was when this is all said. Uh, you mentioned we have to mud, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Critter. Critter droppings. Five after one, so you arrived at what, 11? Yeah, 11. -ish. So, here, come in here. Uh, so, we're just getting started now on, well, we're cleaning some tiles because there's a lot of mouse poop. Cans and garbage and plastic bags and cans full of cigarette butts but, yeah. thrown up into the roof. It's kind of gross. We told the landlord he was a little bit shocked. Yeah. Uh, I guess a previous tenant. Not so clean. Um, so we're getting that cleaned up and then we can get these lights. We stopped over at Rona. I forgot to bring the camera, but I guess it was kind of a boring, boring video anyways, really. We are just walking up and down the aisles. But we could have added music. <laughs> but uh, we got just a couple of what, junction boxes for yeah. putting in some lights and things like that. We're going to put in as many lights. You think about three and a half hours to put ten lights up? Oh, yeah. So he says it's easy peasy, folks. So, But yeah, we're, it's like ten after one now. Because the landlord came, we figured out which circuits do what, so we've got the power cut off to the lights so that we don't get zapped while still having the electrical outlets uh, working so that we can vacuum and uh, use our new fridge, get coffee brewing, that kind of stuff. So. Coffee is most important. Absolutely. Priority. So let's get to it. Get dirty. What is that? This is a cable. They've snipped a cable right in the yeah. center. Okay, so it's like a 9 volt battery, right? You can just lick it and yeah, yeah. see if it's... Yeah. <laughs> Open it up. Make sure there's not. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this center part. You know, make it a lot easier to get these bulbs up. Okay. Okay. Put this in my pocket. So you have to squeeze them like there's one, two, three clips here. So you squeeze them together like this, like this, and like ah, like. This. Like how? Easy peasy? <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> then you shove it this way, and that way it comes down. Done. Watch out for the spiders and all the flies. Oh, ah, yeah. yes. Then, take so your tester and test it. Like so. It's good. So now, turn it on. And we go like this. Now we know it's safe. Like this, remove it. If it's still good, we put it back. Just temporary so we don't get, just in case someone in the other room turns on the panel. Somebody walks in and turns on the light switch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Exactly. Get rid of that. Put this back. Put these aside. This over here. Now it's always. Inside, outside. So inside, and outside. Easy, easy. Like so, look at that. Perfect. And then inside, now I don't want to just leave these here for a second. Can we have a sword fight with those? Yeah, sure. We'll do, but we gotta make sure we do it outside and protect the <laughs> glass. <laughs> That's good for the environment. <laughs> So inside. Okay, just to clarify, do not have a sword fight with these. Uh, Mercury explosion. Exactly. They actually burst out. They actually explode. They're under pressure and they explode. Ah, uh, gases and stuff inside, yeah. I guess. So you were get, it was getting really, really warm in here. Yeah. How's that fan feel? Oh, it feels fantastic. <laughs> so I just just so you guys know, because I, I, I'm you know accountable to you for your contributions, just sipped out and, and picked up this fan. It is wonderful. There's 20 bucks right there, and it's cooling down the place almost immediately. I also found some burnt ones as well. This one's a little bit burnt. The electrical? Yeah, bit? if you look. 
There's one that's a lot worse than this one. It's a little bit burnt, not as much as the one over there. Oh, really? Just the heat? The heat, actually, that's a short. You actually see the short up here, right in oh. here. It actually exploded. Like a bad ballast do that, or? Uh, bad ballast, bad light, bad connection, all of those, all of the above. Hmm. Okay, the next step, once we put these down, is just take these off, get the chains off, and that's Great. Now we already tested this. Yes. So we're good. They're all in this, these are all in the same circuit. I think. Yes. So what we want to do is just take out these, so four of these little tiny parts. Okay, so start with the black. Yep. There we go. Oh, that, and that, okay. Away from your face. Preferably. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. There we go. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm feels good. <laughs> and the ground, yeah. how did they do that? Do I do the ground? Yeah. Yeah? We know there's no, no power going through. Okay, yeah, we know there's no shorts. So we're good. So do I untwist this? Yep. That's a little tricky, eh? Yeah. A pair of pliers, maybe? Gotta be a man. See, a man I don't want to poke <laughs> copper through my finger. It's sharp. Hey, be a man, he says, when Robbie asks for pliers. That's some good electrician advice. Be a man. Just touch it to test it. Yeah. There we go. Hold on. And put these together. Take these two. Put them together with this. Let's wrap them around. Oh, okay, they're just here. You know, look at those. So you mean just to get them out of the way, like yeah. that kind of idea? Oh, okay. Just, that's just to get them out of the way, I guess. Correct. Right. All right. There you go. Wait, there I have done well. Yes. And then next step is to go up on this above the pile and yeah. this screw. And back. All right. That's it. You got to get up there. To the other side. Yeah. Up here. It's lovely up here. <laughs> well, this is not good enough. Now the ground is going to be hooked to the screw on your left. Left, yeah. All right. And it opens like a little door on your right. So that's the old, that's the door part. There's a beam immediately above it, so I can't get the screwdriver right. Oh, okay. So it's a little tricky. I might have a smaller one. It's... How's this one, Robin? Yeah. There we go. It's okay. We have lots of screws. Now, be careful not to make the wires. There we go. How many electricians does it take you down and take down the light? <laughs> One. And Robbie can just stand. <laughs> All right, cool. So now we're gonna go like this. Like this. All right. Am I, hold, am I against something? Just this uh, piece of tile. Okay. Don't want to damage the tile. How's that? Am I clear? Uh, it'll go on top. Yeah. And easy. Let me undo the chain. Yeah. All right. Look how strong Robbie is. Oh, this is like 400 pounds. I... <laughs> <laughs> and you cut all the wires to hold it. It's okay. 
Okay, that's one. Doing one side. Okay. And I'll the second side. All right, it's all yours, Robbie. Be careful. Okay. Sharp edges. Yep. There we go. Uh, all right, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. One down. Okay, but I got all the light switches off them, and I also got the <laughs> power disconnected off. Yeah, that's true. No, it's not like they've been standing around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's about ten to three, and Paulo and I are gonna break for lunch. We've got, uh, what, one, two, three, four of the lights down, um, and we're getting them down at about one every seven minutes or so. Yep. So timing-wise, we're doing pretty good, uh, but we need a second wind, so go grab <laughs> something to eat, and then we'll, uh, we'll be back to continue. Yeah. All right. Say hi. I met Sasha. Hi, Sasha. How are you? <laughs> he's, a, he's a little tickled pink yeah. to meet you. So. Yeah. I've we seen just you for so many years, you know, probably don't know who I am. So. <laughs> in the chat room, I'd know exactly who uh, you were. I was. I only recently got in the chat room. Okay. Sasha. How is it? Oh, it's really good. Don't show my burger. <laughs> <laughs> it's all messy. So Sasha fed us well. We're gonna have to keep the camera from about here yeah. up because we're. Whew. But we got our, our second wind, so now we got a lot to do. Okay. So we don't want to do it exactly the same as last time. You did? Come on, man! <laughs> uh, see, there's all this piping up here that makes it very difficult to maneuver this stuff out of here. I'm gonna take you for a walk. <sighs> Electrical violations is the name of the story, yeah. am I right? Yep. Okay, That's not... let's get up there. Yeah. What do you notice? First of all... Okay, that's one. <laughs> now, look over here. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Holy cow. Oh, yeah, ooh. That's even better. Yeah, that's bad. See, this is the, what, what we're seeing. Is, Okay, there's one. There's another one. That's an open open junction right there. Yeah. There's one there. We got morettes and like you know pieces of wiring that are just hanging down, and for no apparent reason. And why is that open? I mean, it could be. Yeah. But it looks like it's but, been it's been severed. Yeah. The neutral's severed. Yeah. They've cut out something rather than. And there's the blue line there. We don't know if that's What's blue. Why. Yeah. What is blue? It, you could use it as a, one of the hot lines. Okay. Or one of the switch lines, so we don't know what it is. Right. So we have to be careful with that. And we don't even know if it's attached to the same circuit as the lighting. Correct. In which case it could be live. That's correct, yes. <laughs> there we go. Last one. Just out of curiosity, I did this one without taking out the middle part, but I guess it kind of needs to, right? Yes. So, look, yeah. Paul was also explaining to me that 
you want to kind of look down as you're turning the bulbs and stuff, just in case it pops. Correct. Don't want to get it in your eyes, he says. I agree. As I get a rust chip in my eye. Oh, good. It's okay, I got my I got my safety contacts on. Well that one was easier. Yeah. There we go. So, I'm going to do like that, and I'm not going to look, I'm not going to really look at it. There we go. He laughs at me because I take my time meticulously, gently setting these bulbs down, but he told me they would explode if, you mis if I mishandle them. <laughs> Look at this, this is my back end. This one. That's impressive. Right? Yes. You're supposed to agree, man. Yes, I did. Thanks. I agree. Thank you. Very good, Robin. Almost like a pro. <laughs> that one was tight, so. There we are. go. Get this one. Quit laughing. I'm not, I'm not. Okay. Chest in, belly out. <laughs> it's behind me. I gotta reach backwards. It's easier just to go like that, okay? No, what about me? Now we gotta do this. Alright. It's also behind me. Who put the ladder here? <laughs> Gotta put up all the other ones, all the new ones. What time have we got? All right, let's see what we'll check in. Okay, we just finished 520. We just finished taking down all the existing lights. That's 10 lights have come down. Let's show you the state of the roof. Let's just get you off here. Okay, here's the state of it. What do you think? Looking good? Yeah. All right. I wish we had more time to do this with our time. Really fix it. Well, you know, it, it's a, a rental unit and we're doing our best to do everything that needs to be done and a little bit uh, over the top too, just to deal with little issues that are either safety yeah. or, yeah, things that we didn't expect. But I think we're doing a, a great job and holy cow though, I mean, you look at the state of this roof and it just looks like it's just, I think we're gonna do this all in one day. What time is it? Five? It's 5.20. Yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. 5.20. <laughs> Six hours and 20 minutes later. <laughs> it's a full work day. Yeah. It really is. But we're doing good. Well, we didn't really start until after. Yeah, I know. Well, technically, because we had to get into the electrical room and all that stuff and get this all shut off. But there you go. Oh, yeah. The ability to put lights anywhere you want. So you have to imagine where the desk is going to be, where you want to put the lights. So, so you. you okay, so here's you know. here's the set, right? Okay. And you're gonna have all this space here. Yeah, I think so. I mean, when you get the drape in, okay. it's gonna be. Oh, you need the green screen here too? No. Oh, I mean, right. it'll be like we have a brick drape right now. Oh, okay, okay. I think that's probably best because we have these windows here can't have behind us, so we're going to have to probably use that on it. And then something in front of us. So it's probably easiest, cheapest to put a, put a big drape up. It looks real. It's, it's just a drape. So, so, uh, so this will be lights above our head. So we have one person here. Maybe one here, one here. Do you want a light here? Or no? Do you require one there? We don't have to. I don't think so. Okay. So that's going to be, I think, where people will come into the set. Okay. So if it's here and here, then it's, kind of, it's going to fill this space. Because they're running this way, not this way, so we need to separate them out a little bit. 
and they've got the fusion panels, so that will diffuse enough over there. What if we do one, one, one? Okay. Like that. Yeah. So we'll move this over here, this over there. That makes sense, right? Yeah. That'll be a good fill. So that'll be fill light, so then we have the soft boxes on our faces to give us the, you know, the good brightness, but then and we don't have shadows green, and stuff. And it's green, green screen over here. This will be our green screen area. So what I'm thinking, this is this is a little more critical as far as where the lighting is because you can't have any shadows on the green screen. Because if I'm standing here and I've got a light there, I'm going to be casting a shadow behind me, and then that's going to be hard to key out. So if we have one right above my head, that's going to fill the screen behind me and make sure that the shadow's on the floor right here. So this will reach over there. So right here. There we go. And we're up. I'm wondering if we do one here and one there. Okay. Yeah, because works. then we've got a little, you know, we the, and then we'll set up right here. So it's really this top light. And then we've got the face light coming from the soft boxes again. Okay. Camera right here. Camera here pointed that way or this way. And then for the interview area, that'll be the only other one that really matters. The rest of them are just, you know, it's like typical office space. So here, I think it can be a little bit softer, to be honest. Here? Where are you thinking? Just where it is, I guess, eh? Right there? Um, yeah. This is a pretty, this is going to be, because we can put our lamp, lamp in the corner and have that kind of nice feel. We may even set up a brick here or something. Oh, okay. It would look nice. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Okay. That or this. Either one of these I think is good. But when you put a chair here, right, it's going to be pretty big. So that would be right about the center of two people. Well, I think that's a good spot. Right over up. Alright. See the wire that's holding that up? You think, oh yeah, that's going up. No, that is actually going up to, what do you call that? It's just a piece of the flimsy. Yeah. This is also 14 too, it's not even 12. But it's being held by, not the wire. truss. Yeah, yeah. But what is it, a T-bar? T-bar. Look at that, just sitting in there, nice and loose. That's the support, and those are not very strong. Flimsy. So we gotta redo some of the the support, I guess. Yeah. Should be like here, like there. So wherever you want the light, make sure there's no tiles on either side. Okay. And then maybe not one in front either. Two sides there, there, and there. Seconds, which is <laughs> under two minutes to do all of them. Okay. Nice. It's, it's getting dark and I didn't realize, but hello, Robbie, you've got all the lights on the floor. And the power to the lights are off, so yeah, we literally have two minutes. Okay, so next one is going here. Yeah, yeah. Now, should we try 
turn this so that they're all opening from the same direction? Does it matter? Does it matter? It's all just that's just being anal. Yes, sir. I'm not that I've ever been known to be anal. You know. No, let's do my side first. Oh, okay. Okay, Robbie, you're doing it wrong. Right. Well, that's my side first. I don't know. My side first. down. Remember, they don't have chains. Before you do anything, please put on the chains. So you're going to camp climb up on top of them and lay there? No. <sighs> A good electrician will put the chains on, then go and lie down on top. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, we were trying to find chains and the stores are closed. We forgot it was Sunday. Sunday night. Yeah. All right. Oh, so they look beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, looks great. Nice and clean. Brightens up the ceiling, you know. So the desk's starting to be on this way. Look at that. Beautiful. You have know, massive desks, huge desks. We have a massive, huge desk. Yeah. There's a whole basement of my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next slide. Okay. Where are you on it? Uh, over the green screen studio. Over the green screen. Sounds good? Worst luck ever. What? <laughs> okay, think green screen, and do you see those panels? Two panels right above your head. And then two soft boxes in on uh, that one on this side, one on that side. Are you going to have shadows? <laughs> Not a chance. Cool. Yeah, that's going to do don't nice. You, don't you have to light the green screen as well? Well, that's what the back one well, behind you is going to do. Okay, so the green screen will be like right here. Well, you think. When you, when you look at this, you think it's going to be right up against the wall, but it's, it's not. not those stands that Sash and I have, they must, like the base is about this big. He's winking at me. I'm, I'm winking because I got dust in my eye. No, he likes me. I do. <laughs> so I got this the base that's like this, so it goes okay. here, it's got a pole. Oh, that's okay. so that's going to work out here. Wow. So it's going to come down here, yeah. and they're going to be standing probably right about here. Yeah, that's going to work out nice. Yeah. Okay, next slide. Okay. Uh, Where do you want it? Interview room. Oh, hello. Let's see, I can enhance. Ooh, that's getting really grainy. That's how dark it is in here. I'm <laughs> plus one, uh, plus nine. Last light. I'm good. I'm in. Ta da! There's ten lights in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. The rest is easy. It was, this is the hardest part. <laughs> and it's getting really dark. <laughs> this is the hardest part. <sighs> okay, we've got a, a wire here that is nasty, corroded, and... It was actually shorted up. It was shorted. Yeah, it, it, it overheated. Yeah, so you can see the state. That, that looks like a bare wire, that is actually the neutral. Yeah, so it is... Low, look at that, just crispy. So we should replace the whole wire. We don't know how far along in the VX. So. Yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do, make sure the power's off for it. <laughs> and then, get 
Okay. 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 See how nice and crispy it is? Yeah. So that's just from a short circuit? Well, that's actually, it was heated up. Yeah. It heated up way too much. I'm surprised this one is not just, oh, it is a little bit. Yeah. It's got way too hot. And that's from electrical. Yeah. Like that's not the heat, heat from the ballast. That's... So most house fires, what ends up happening is it's usually the, the hot line that overheats. Yeah. It overheats, starts burning from the inside out. So you'll find like fire going up the wall and you go, how the hell did that start? And it was all heat. Yeah. Wow. So it's good that we're getting in and doing this stuff yeah. for the landlord's sake because to find that and that, you know, then there's the ground and there's yeah. the live wire and... It's overheating. Yeah. Oh, well. So what would happen if this came in, in contact with the ground? Not nothing. But you've got... Except you've got a, yeah. now power feeding back through the yeah. ground, right? Well, no, this would be on the hot line, but, but, but it's meant to go through the neutral. Correct. So if if this ended up touching this yeah. anywhere along here, it would have a big short circuit. Right. It would spark arc. But you don't want the the neutral going to the ground either, right? No, they actually go to the same spot. One goes to ground ground, uh, like a piping. Okay. This would go through the piping in the ground. This is the neutral going back to the station. Oh, okay. okay. So it could cause some almost electrical anomalies yeah, yeah. versus an actual... You know, really yeah, if this like happened sparks. inside here with this wire somewhere in here, it would cause Yeah, I guess because at this state, it's going to get so hot that yeah. it could damage this wire Correct. in here. Yeah, and you normally don't see it on the neutral. You yeah. normally see it on the hot line. So this is bizarre. Is it possible that somebody's miswired? Um, when we, I checked the wiring here, I didn't see any miswirings. Like that this would be hot? Yeah, that's, that's unusual. So let's do that. We're going to replace this whole wire wherever it ends up, somewhere over here. Okay. So we have a nice fresh VX. You know, don't want none of that stale BX. Well, the power is off. But for a handy dandy, not in my pocket. What do you need? I need a Robertson. Red? Number six? kids if only ethernet cable were that easy now we need a little protector red protector that goes on the end a red one yes oh the uh the little sleeve like things that we crap yes okay do you, do you have them or no Good. 
That's what I'm good for. Now, was that four or five feet? Yeah, and, an, and an extra foot. Okay. So this will go up here. And we'll measure about. With our scientific measuring tool. Yep. Cut it. And then add another two feet from where your hand is. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Done. Cut it. Measure. <laughs> Need those? Stop laughing! <laughs> Just because you can do this with your teeth. <laughs> Come on. Oh, let me step in and help. Oh, thanks. I started it for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting so dark in here, even though the, even though I can overexpose the image so that we can see you, the camera's starting to have trouble with autofocus. Because it can't. So, we may have to... Done. All right, cool. All right. It's not nice. Easy. nice. Let's, let's uh, maybe wire one or two over there. Okay. Because we have more lighting over there. Right. Okay. But before we do that, let's, let's bring this up and around. We're going to have to strap these up for this. Alright. Do we want this just hanging down? Right. Well, we, yeah, of course. I don't want the kids running up and, hey, what's this? Not cool. <laughs> Not that they're going to be here with the wires hanging down like this. There it is. Now, when you tighten this, you don't have to fork it, just. Okay. Not it's tight. just, and I guess it's going to grip onto yeah. the sides of that yeah. corrugated kind of. Okay, so I'm going to put this one up here. Let's check. Good. Okay, so I need to remove this. Yes. Which has only got two grips. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm ruining everything! No, 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 no. It's breaking it all. Okay, ready? Phew. That was a close call. Well, how do you get this one out then? Because that black thing is in the way. Oh, okay. It takes two guys. <laughs> Every time. Oh, right. good. Oh, look at that. A nice little nice. cute little one. This is high tech. Look at that. Nice. Ballast. Cool. 277 volts. Nice. So don't lick it. And what's <laughs> this up here? To daisy chain them? Yeah. Okay, I gotta look to see why. What the hell else? Huh. Let me see that. Oh, right, because that's where we're supposed to wire into. It's like a plug. Instead of. Oh, that's awesome. Is that. We just push the wires into that? Yeah, uh, oh, we're guessing. It, it's like a Lego brick version. <laughs> it, it builds a Lego brick version of a... Okay, that's assuming you only have one wire. We have two. Well, it's got black and white. Yeah. No, no I mean two, like two pairs. We have two right. black Okay, two so white. we might have to splice that. Correct. On some. That's pretty neat. Okay, does that take 110 volts? Or, it does, or less? but it converts to yeah. 270. Oh, okay. 120 volts to, two, to 277. Okay. Or maybe I'm just, maybe it's just, that's up to what it will take. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. All right, those are the numbers. I just read the numbers. Okay. No, it's, I think it's a little clip. Oh, so you don't actually need to, oh, pull it towards you. I see how that works. I think you just pull it. 
Let me try. Uh, oh, how come it's not? It should come out easy, not. Well, the fact is, is that contractors have to prove how manly they are. I don't want to destroy it. Let me get in there with my delicate hands. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to destroy it. That's that's kind of you. <laughs> okay, so we just. Pop out these coins and they work in the arcade. Alright. What are you doing over there? Trying to, the trying to figure it out? Yeah. Oh. Looking for this? It says that you have to. Did you just pull it off? You yeah, I figured it out. Nope. How did you do it? Okay, you're gonna have to watch the video tomorrow at 10. <laughs> Here. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you in reverse. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice. Huh? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Okay, let's get the wiring. Since you're up there, bring the wiring down. Sure. Uh, how do I do that? Oh. My hands are not that dainty. <laughs> They're over here. What? They're over here. How am I supposed to? No. Yeah, I'll put them I'm gonna bring it down. Okay. Yeah, we got two sides of this ladder. What is the box? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Try not to make the wire. Oh yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so all right. So now this is going to go on one of those holes. Correct. Just pop out one of these coins. Correct. Okay. Just either one, man. Eh? Doesn't matter. Um, let's try the center one. There's no center one, man. They're both on the side. Okay. Take that to the arcade. That won't work. It used to back when I was a kid. Yeah. Those were the days, weren't they? <laughs> we used to go to. We used to frequent the the back alleyways at industrial plants, <laughs> like my ring. <laughs> and uh, we'd get those things and we'd go to the arcade the next day and you'd have like a full oh, day's nice. entertainment. Because that was back when I was very honest. Obviously not. I didn't know any better. It worked. I thought it was cool. Gone are those days. Now you can't even scream into a phone to make free long distance calls. That used to work too. Okay. Now. Ah. Okay. So now we've got this dilemma that it's kind of. You know what? I think we're gonna actually have to screw that on on the other side. Oh. Okay. Because it, you gotta go sideways to get that in, right? Okay. So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that off again. You are free. Now it goes in that side. Okay. Oh, I'm that. That one is, yeah, I will. First, I just need to get this in. How do we make it more good? They make it more difficult because it looks fancy on camera. There we go. Now the ring. Paula was just thinking, oh, nice yellow lights. So this is why we stay away from incandescence. <laughs> uh, it's awfully dark in here. Paula was just curious about this thing that I, that I just cut off without even asking the electrician. Because uh, I thought that it was just, it looks like just a, an easier connector, right? That's all it looks like. But Paula just wanted to know that there wasn't a transformer or something. And I just took it apart. You can see it is literally just a connector on that end. So it's just going to do this side too. Just to be sure that there's not some kind of little transformer there. Because what was it you're saying about the width, the, well, the, the gauge of the wire? Yeah, it's unusually thin for 110 volts. All right. 
Watch your finger. My finger? I'm basically stabbing this yeah. towards my heart. And he says, watch your finger. Thanks, buddy, for being concerned. Was that one the This one is the same thing. Okay. It's literally just a connector, so we're good. That's just, I think it's just, a, like, computers these days, you have, rather than having to find where all the pins go, you just have one thing that just snaps onto the board and it just makes it easier to mm -hmm. service or upgrade. So I guess that makes it easier to hot swap this if we wanted to. But because we've got too many, like, two cables going in, you're saying yeah. that's too, yeah. too thick. So yeah. there you go. So we're grounding the wire to the same... The same direction as so the screw turns. I need it to come the other way. I need it behind this way. Yeah. And the Phillips screwdriver there. Let's get that thing just a little bit tighter. Right. How's that? That looks pretty good. It's getting really dark now. Yeah. <laughs> good thing you have that. My garage lantern. I had two more floodlights out for that again. And I could have brought a studio light yeah. that puts out the light of the sun. Oh, that would be no. nice. We don't remember to bring that next yeah, time yeah. we expect to. Up to the top. Spark. Just like that? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, because we need to be able to put, put the, uh, yeah. the cover on. We need to kind of flatten that out a bit. Yes. Same with the hot and neutral. Same thing up there. Try to separate the hot neutral on the table. Sure, I probably want the neutral on the side yeah. of the ground, right? See, I'm learning, folks. Yeah. Paul is a good teacher, so uh -huh. I'm getting there. Oh, now, there's cool. not a lot of slack on, yeah, the, on the lead here, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm making mental note that this is a rounded plate, so I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to touch it to it, just in case. For okay. no reason it's going to touch, but okay, now we got this. All right, this is the thing of nightmares. Oh, no, no, you did it, you did it. You did it before. Okay. And it was easy. It was not easy. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this, who puts a piece of plastic there? <laughs> I know, because it's not, it's always, it's, our, it's not hard enough. Let's put a piece of plastic in the way. It actually should bend upwards. Plastic. You, it doesn't bend. No. Like, no, it's like it's a piece of plastic. Okay. It's randomly stuck there. The student dying. There we go. Okay. That's how you do it. Sorry. All right, there we go. Make sure the wires are pin. I will try. Yeah, because that's another great idea that they had. Let's make this edge here <laughs> razor sharp, sharp. Yeah, yeah. so that if it does pinch a wire, <laughs> it's going to cut it right in half and yeah. short circuit the whole thing. There we go. Okay. Cool. Should we put bulbs in this thing? Or? Sure, why not? Oh, so we have left that thing down. Well, we'll know in a second. We will know in a second. Oh, look at this. Oh, these are easier. This is quite a bit easier. Okay, so I've got to feed that up. Cool. Oh, I need this side in first. Sure. Keep your hands at the level of your eyes. Hey, just leave them down a bit, Robbie. We'll put them all up there for us. But I'm afraid. No, we have that black stuff on there. Is that what the plastic is for? No. Please. That's what the genius plastic is for? Is to... Oh. It falls off over. I'll grab it. You will, eh? I oh, these like are so much places. nicer. They're, they're, because they're smaller, they're easier to get in there. You want to put those two in first? Yeah, sure. Okay, so one. So okay. it's got to go up in the volume. Yeah. Okay, now Paula was saying, I don't want to look at it while I'm twisting it. Because if it snaps... Correct. I do kind of want... To, oh, it's going. It's going. You should be able to feel there. it. There, it snapped in. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Okay, but I'm not looking straight at it at that point. Yeah, just in case. Just in case, it's a safety thing, folks. Sure. I'm finding you have to kind of bend those a little bit. There we are. Okay, looking right. down. And click. There we go. Beautiful. Next up. So what does that say about these bulbs on the packaging? 
That's it. Lamp contains mercury. Okay, we know that. But the light quality and... Here, yeah, I'm ready for another one. TA first and two. 32 watts. Wow. So these are really efficient. Wow. One inch diameter. Nice. So luminance is 2,950 LMs. What's an LM? I have no idea. Luminance? Lumens, maybe. Is an LM short for lumen? Must be. That's the only thing that would make sense in that context. 32 watts. Life hours is 30,000 hours. All right, good. Calvin, 5,000 Calvin. Let's see. Beautiful. CRI is 85. Oh, 80, there we go. CRI is 85. That's cool to know. We learned that from Robert. So 85, according to Robert, would be actually considered pretty good. Yep. Really good. Okay. Oh, isn't that kind what? of neat? What? Well, it's like a little spring mechanism. So oh, as, yeah. I, as I push this up, it's just going to snap into place. I don't have to mess with it like the other ones. Although, we don't really have any weight on the top. <laughs> Presently, we don't. Yeah. That eliminates that. Yeah. Click. See what I'm doing is I'm, I end up pushing it up. Oh, hold on. Maybe if I hold it down for you, hold on. One second. Oh. Alright. Oh? Yeah, okay, maybe. Yeah. That's one. There's two. Yeah, that's all we need is just a bit of weight on the top. Okay, nice. Okay. I'm sure I would chill try anything. I mean, yeah. Okay. I kind of want to be, I want you to be here when we first fire them up because this is a long day's work. <laughs> okay, so our, Paula, what do you think? I mean, it's, what time have we got? Now we can't see a thing other than outside. Let's see, it's time. Here we go. Full out. Oh. <laughs> I can't get my phone up. Yeah, I can. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Had to be done. 809. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? I'm good. Yeah? All right. Okay, so are we going to wire... We're obviously not going to get all 10 done tonight, because we'll be here till 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I think as we, as we go... We're going to be getting better and faster. But I think, so before the sun goes completely away, <laughs> we should make sure that there's morets on the, on the lead on yeah, all yeah. of these. Yes. So that if the landlord comes in and fires up the power, we don't have a, a surprise. Okay, let's do it. By way of fire. All right, let's go see. How much of it? No, I didn't. Um, uh, normally, I just do this in a day. Yeah. So what's the what's the variable? Like, is it me? That I'm no, we started so too late. late. We started, started too late. late. We started around one or twelve. Okay. And that's really because like, there's so much that has to be prepared. I'm not prepared because I don't know. Yeah. There was another one up here. Part of it too being a Sunday, we couldn't get into all the sources. Yeah, yeah, I need it. One of the Rona was out of the chain with me. So. so, this will be your test light. Yeah, so. But we don't want the rest of them to explode. Um. <laughs> Knowing that there's one up there? Yeah. You gotta have a good memory when you do what I do. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's, it's, it's completely live, touching all the metal. 
Good thing I have to remember that. You think about all the questions that I get that are completely random in nature. You don't really know what's coming from day to day, so. That's going to be nice having a fridge in here, just because I've been working in here without cold drinks. <laughs> and, and just the cream, because I haven't got the cream. I'm just going to leave the, uh, these connectors, I don't know what it is, the wires hanging down for now. We've got one light set up, so if we want to test it, we've got the Moretz on, so the landlord can have the power, and that light should come on, and nothing should explode, then <laughs> that's good. Uh, we should check the Moretz on that one, just to be sure, right? So, oh, so am I... Do you feel confident in my ability to wire some of these lights? Yeah. At this point? Do you I'm... feel confident? Well, I do. You do? Okay. You've shown me enough, Paulo, to know kind of what I'm doing. So now I need to get the chains. Yeah. So that these things are held up in the vent for safety. Yeah. Just for safety. And some sort of wire to put up the T-bars. Like a 12-gauge wire yeah. to just affix it to the truss instead of a, a piece of T-bar just hanging there. Yeah. Yeah. So what we what you should do is uh, go to Rona in the ceiling section and uh, look for the key, key bars and the wire should be there. It should be oh, a okay. big roll. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna try to tackle that stuff myself. And then, because uh, it's gonna be almost two weeks before you can get back here, right? Well, we're going, both going on vacation. Yeah. So we're looking at next week as a write-off and the following weekend. So it's going to be the weekend after that. It would be the earliest. So that's that's cool. So if I can get the chains up, because that's easy, and I can get some of the wiring done, which I think I can do because we you've already done. I'll check it though before you go live. Before you go live? Yeah, okay. But if you can come in that day and say, okay, let's inspect it, yeah. and make sure that Robbie's done a decent job, these are easy to just open them up, pull off the middle thing. Well, what? One, just leave them on. Mm -hmm. So we can just quick inspect. Okay, that one's good, that one's good. Put it back, put it back. Put it back. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. That's the easier way to do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Great. So we have one to test, just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should put it right on the other one. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. What do you like now? There's no more outside. Oh. No other ones that are hanging out like that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Watch your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I had a battery explode the other day. A little button cell battery. I was sitting at my desk. Oh. And it was sitting on my desk because I just changed the batteries in one of the kids' yeah, toys. Yeah. a button cell. Like a watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, I'm just working away and it exploded. Just at random. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, so it was lucky it hit me in the hand, but if that ever hit someone in the eye, oh, oh my goodness. So this is it. This is the final. Throwing some rats on there. And you can go. Watch your eyes. Yeah, okay. Most enjoyable part of today, Paul? What? It's a question. For me? Yeah. When we finally had the last one down. That was the light end? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be great, man. What do you, what do you think? I think it's going to be fantastic. 
they position these in such a way that it's going to really illuminate the studio. The landlord's going to come in and say, why'd you position them like that? Well, well the studio's over here. For the studio, it's going to be really, really great. So this has been a great opportunity for us to be able to position the lighting, how it's going to be best for the show. So I think mean, that's going to be yeah, excellent. Same electricity, too. How so? These are better. Oh, these are much yeah. more efficient? Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. Landlord is including electricity for us, so I'm never oh. going to see that. The oh, okay. That. Mm -hmm. But I guess the landlord, with now having a tenant in here, it's going to make a difference for him if it's not eating mm -hmm. away at electricity. So. Well, Paulo, thank you so very much for all your help it's today. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, me too. Well. yeah, that was a lot of fun. So. Have a great night, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I guess uh, we will see you uh, as this progresses. There's a lot more work to do, but I think uh, I think we're really on track. Yep. This is exciting, and you're going to help with some of the drywalling as well. Yep. We were talking about yep. that um, a little earlier when the sun was still bright, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fair bit to be done there as well. And noticing that some of the electrical outlets aren't up to code. Yeah, we got to. We have to put them into the concrete. They've got to be actually Secured. bolted down to the concrete. Yeah. They're yeah. just hanging on styrofoam, yeah, so that's, that's not good. <laughs> so we picked up some receptacle covers, yeah. uh, some good steel ones. So all those ones that I bent are gone. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, man. Thank you so much for all your problem, buddy. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.